Oh, gee. I thought there's going to be tennis balls in this. What are these? Oh, these are juggling balls. <laughs> and juggling is such fun. But when did you learn how to juggle? I didn't know you juggled. Were you in some circus troupe? It is a fun story. Let's hear it. I got fascinated by algorithms after reading the famous textbook, Algorithms plus Data Structures is Equal to Programs. And then I read uh, Mindstorms by the MIT professor Seymour Papert, where he argued the benefits of teaching programming to young kids even at the primary level. In fact, the Lego Mindstorm system is named in honor of that book. One example of a programmatic approach to learning that Papert uh, took, uh, to learning even physical skills, was uh, to learn three ball juggling. It was incredibly simple, just three steps. I was skeptical. I thought juggling was really difficult and it was really for circus people. So one Saturday when my wife went to work, and we had no kids at that stage, I went down to the building uh, kids' sandpit with tennis balls to learn juggling. And I was astounded because in 15 minutes, I taught myself juggling. It's, it's really uh, the power of uh, that three-step approach. And it's a very simple approach. I think everyone should learn juggling. Let me show you. The first step is with the one ball. You toss it from, left, uh, from the left hand to the right hand and from the right hand to the left hand. So this is toss, toss left, toss right. Toss left, toss right. Now the second step adds the second ball. You toss one ball and when that ball is high in the air, you toss from the other hand. And the third step is to do exactly the same thing with three balls. Wow. So, in three steps, you can learn juggling. Got it. Juggling is a delight. And I made it a regular show at my children's uh, birthday parties. They loved it. But uh, more seriously, juggling uh, prompted me to look at the entire area of uh, uh, algorithmic learning, which in turn uh, made me go deep into the newly emerging area of intelligent tutoring systems. And because of which, I got even more deeply interested in computer-based learning. Eventually, all this led to Tata Interactive Systems. What you take up with passion might seem like a passing interest, but as Steve Jobs says, you can only join the dots looking backwards. And there is another set of dots to join in this particular story. Achha. I had a neighbor in the 1980s who left from Mumbai for Chennai, and nearly three decades later, I got a call from him out of the blue. And he said, thank you, Sanjay. I was mystified. What was he thanking me for? We last met maybe at least 25 years ago, possibly 30 years ago. So I said, why are you thanking me, KK? And he says, thank you for teaching me juggling. That was in 1986. This call was in 2014. I said, why are you thanking me for teaching you juggling, which I did in 1986? And he said he had moved from Chennai to Bangalore. And in Bangalore, what he was now doing was going to companies and colleges and teaching them juggling. And he had innovated quite a bit. One of the things he was teaching was juggling, which is juggling while jogging. Wow. So I was delighted. And it so happened that a few days after that, I was going to I am Bengaluru to uh, take a session of uh, stories. And I invited KK to join me for that. 
And in between my stories, KK went on stage and joggled, much to the students' delight. <laughs> I'm super excited to learn how to juggle now. Can we join a circus troupe? You'll fit there. <laughs> We'll be back next week with the next episode. Please like and comment below. And if you like a lot, do share. Also, subscribe to our channel Kisse so that you don't miss out on any Kissa by the OG. Y-O-E. What's Y-O-E? Years of experience. <laughs>